Hello, I hope you're in good health. This week I have a game that is so topical, it'd be a shame if I didn't play it. It's Pandemic 2 by Dark Realm Studios, developed in 2008. It's a virus simulator strategy game where you just slowly infect the world and hopefully kill everyone. I'm Domobla, and welcome to Flash Friday. So let's get started on a new game here in Pandemic 2. We're of course going to be realistic. And we're going to pick a virus today. Fast evolution, most affected by the virus. Bonus to infectivity. Um, bacteria's bonus to drug resistance. Parasite is least affected, slowest evolution. Let's go fast. Okay. Um, a really good disease name. I know of one that's uh, a little bit beer based. So how about let's go uh, the Pilsner virus. I think this is a pretty pretty good name for for uh, a virus that shall infect the world and slowly corrupt it. Okay, um, we don't need to watch the tutorial, we can get right into it. This is a mouse-only game, so be aware of that. You can drag around the map in the top left, and then of course, um, you have your world. It shows the news, the population, how well you're doing. I started in Madagascar this time, which is great, because usually Madagascar is pretty hard to get to. And then I can also go here and look at my virus traits. So currently we have sneezing as a big trait. I think a fever is also pretty good. But if we click on the fever, we can see um, a description. A fever occurs in a person when a threat is found within the body, resulting in a higher than normal body temperature. Fevers have the potential to be deadly while being barely noticeable at all. So, I may want to buy the fever to make it as accurate as possible, but for now we're going to chill on that because I don't want to be killing people before the virus spreads. Maybe coughing. Coughing is provoked when there is substance within the breathing passages that need to be cleaned. Coughing can help spread your disease while it may also cause lung damage to an infected individual. Coughing is quite noticeable as it's loud and usually repetitive. Now this is probably very similar to sneezing. Sneezing is caused by the nasal mucosa being irritated by foreign particles, resulting in an expulsion of air from the lungs. Sneezing will help your disease, but it is a noticeable symptom. So it sounds pretty similar. Um, we also have some resistances we can get, but I think for now the symptoms are what's more important. Let's improve our infectivity by getting some of this coughing in. Okay. And you can change the speeds of how fast uh, the time is going on in the world by this pause button. Um, as you can see, it pauses. All the flights are uh, stopped. But the icon doesn't indicate because this is 2008. Middle East gets hit by an earthquake, but that doesn't help us in Madagascar trying to get out. Unfortunately, in Madagascar, we only have a port. So it may be a little bit harder for us to get out of the country there. So I put it on two times speed. You can see there are boats moving along, there are planes moving along. If I click on Madagascar, you can see we are slowly increasing the infected. Um, everything is still open, but I don't know. The infected increase is a little slow. Let's see if there's anything we can do to help a little bit more. Sweating. Sweating results in a loss of water through sweat glands in the body. 
The main purpose of sweating is to keep the body temperature within normal bounds. Sweating will make an infected person noticeable. Um, I'm not sure if that helps for spreading or anything like that. Vomiting is the expulsion of the stomach's contents through the mouth. Vomiting has many causes, from stomach inflammation to brain tumors. Vomiting will also will allow infected individuals to easily expose others to your disease while also dehydrating themselves. Vomiting is very noticeable. Uh, maybe if I unlock the next tier. Let's go for that. So we have nausea, fatigue, diarrhea. Fatigue results in lower physical or mental capabilities of an individual. Fatigue will make an infected individual more noticeable. It may also improve the chances of death when other symptoms are also present. Okay, so a lot of these don't look like they're helpful for infecting or transmission. So let's see what we can do to increase uh, the transmission stuff. We're already durable, we're already a virus. Um, cold resistance, colder regions. We already have heat resistance, um, which is fine because we're in Madagascar. Moisture re resistance may be useful. Let's go for some of that. Drug resistance. Um, drug resistance seems like it may be helpful, but we're still very early stages, so I'm a little unsure. Airborne resistance, airborne transmission, uh, waterborne transmission. We'll get to those. We'll see if Madagascar, anything can get out. So you want it to spread at least a little bit before you start piling on a lot of these additional symptoms and bonuses. Or else what can happen is you end up killing your population out, which means you can't spread. Or people notice before you're able to spread and then you get blocked into your region. And when I'm already blocked into Madagascar with only one port out, I don't want to uh, get choked into staying in Madagascar. So let's see, come on, if I can get anywhere. I just need to get somewhere out of Madagascar. Come on, I'm at 1000. I'm a patient, I'm a patient virus the Pilsner virus here, but uh, gotta help me out a little bit. I'm not really seeing a ton of port movements, which is a little unfortunate for me. Uh, I'm really reliant on that port. So this, this uh, little playthrough may become a little bit sadder and more boring as a result. Let's increase some of the resistance in general. Um, I, I don't think it can hurt in any way. And then we'll up the speed. Let's see if this boat will help me out. Come on, boat. Boats. Boats. Please, boats. You came in and you gotta leave. We're we're passing we're passing the days, shooting the time. Boats, please leave. Okay, we have a a huge a good a good jump on transmission. And we had a boat leave. We have a boat leave. And it's going to it past Australia. Oh boy, this is working my geography skills really hard. Um, New Zealand. Yes, we have an infection in New Zealand. Madagascar is turning colors, but we're still locked to islands, which is a little rough. Um, it doesn't look like, if you look in the breaking news on the left, ooh. Okay, Madagascar is starting to shut down. Hopefully, New Zealand can pick up some of the pace for me. If Madagascar completely shuts down, okay, they're keeping their external. Um, oh yes, we've got China. Great, great. South Africa, also great. Yes. So Madagascar chose to keep their public or 
their international travels open, which really helped support my ability to spread. New Zealand's changing colors. Great. Greenland. We've, we've got Greenland. Okay, so I think we're getting a good spread now. We've arrived in Canada. Okay, we've gotten some larger landlocked places along with our islands. Islands are usually the hard ones to get because if it gets too big, the world's going to shut off and islands will reduce their chances to allow um, you to get back in. So we're doing great. Mexico. So since we're on top of this, um, I think we could increase our resistance a little bit more, maybe improve our transmission. I still want to hold off on the things that start killing off people. But for now, we can do some more resistances. Let's get that cold moisture drug resistance. Let's see, we have 50 points as mentioned down here not near the pause button. Great. Um, we have hit Japan. So we have gotten majority of the islands at this point. You can see Greenland's turn, Canada's turned. China is having some trouble and there's a border shutdowns occurring. So we have three clean regions left. Every other region has been infected, but it looks like, oh, vaccine. The governments of Earth have begun researching a vaccine to prevent your disease from infecting new individuals. Check the world screen to see a vaccine development progress. Okay, so we now have it in progress. We've got Peru. People are shutting down. Let's take the speed down. They're moving real fast here. I can't keep up and I just scrolled out. Oh boy, uh, this is getting a little intense. Okay, so places are closing. We don't want that to happen, but let's start improving our transmission. Okay, so we're gonna do a bunch of transmission to just really hit that infective infectivity high. Uh, let's unlock the next tier. Oh boy, this is some real intense stuff. Maybe I'll just go for some sweating for now. And um, fever. We can go for a fever. Yeah, a small, a small noticeability. It's increasing the lethality. Um, our infectivity is pretty good. Our visibility is good. Let's buy some more resistances. Get the infectivity up some more. Um, maybe one of these may help. I don't know. Is depression effective? Depression is an unusual low mood and loss of interest in general activities. Depression is a very visible condition. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's helping me much there, so we're gonna pause on that for now. And hopefully, we can see uh, more progress. So, people are enforcing curfews, martial law, exterminating rodents, more curfews. We have some water supplies that are ruined, it looks like. We have multiple countries infected. Um, but we still have some safe ones, it seems, over here. Luckily, Brazil is keeping all of their borders open. So the likelihood of it going into Argentina seems... Oh, it is already in Argentina. So at this point, I think I have actually infected the world very cleanly. We're doing very great. This has been a very fast playthrough. Um, Oh man, people are shutting down. The news is going so fast, even on one speed, I can't keep up. Shipyards are closed. Governments enforcing curfews. Hospitals are being shut down. I am doing such a great job. If you look at all of the red that is slowly covering the world, they're going a little bit slower in Indonesia. Um, but they there are infected people there, so that's all good. Let's ensure that our drug resistance is good by when we get the next point we'll keep that up okay uh it looks like the u.s has shut down borders it looks like everyone <laughs> everyone in europe and 
the main area of uh, like China, Russia, um, Northern Africa is also pretty much shut down. And we're doing pretty good. They're starting rodent extermination. But I've already covered insects waterborne and airborne. So we're already on top of all of that. Uh, I just need one more evolution point and then I can get me some of that drug resistance since I'm sure the progress on the vaccine is going to be really good soon enough. If I haven't infected everyone, that is. Let's see. Healthy population, alive population, infected population. Infected population is about the same as the healthy population, which is pretty good. We don't seem to be having many deaths yet, um, which is a little bit shameful. Maybe now's a good time to up that a tiny bit. Oh wait, I still don't have any evolution points, so I gotta chill out on that. What I could do is sell some of my existing conditions and really like uh, have that evolution of my virus as it morphs into something that is completely new. It's amazing that there's still ports and f flights going on as I have pretty much made the whole world a good shade of red. Yeah. One thing that is a little rough about this game is it's very mouse centric and imagery centric. There's the news, but you can't really follow the news. And you'd have to individually click on every single thing to see what all they are doing. Or what all is going on. But, um, I still think it's a pretty exciting game for most people to get into. Which is something that is pretty nice. I know there's a game out there called Plague Inc. That is probably based off of this game. Since I feel like... Uh, many of us have played this game in our childhoods and wrecked the world quite a few times over. Indonesia's finally gotten out of the green zone. We don't seem to have many deaths or if any deaths at all. So, okay, we're up to nine. I think it's time to really get those symptoms for killing people. Hemorrhaging is a loss of blood from the circulatory system. It may occur internally or externally, depending on the cause. Hemorrhaging allows infected people to expose others to your disease via their blood. It poses a serious health risk to the infected and is a fairly noticeable symptom. So this one is uh, maybe not so helpful for lethality. Let's try di diarrhea. Uh, severe dehydration. Could be good, could be good. Vomiting. Easily expose others to your disease while also dehydrating themselves. Similar to diarrhea. Uh, maybe kidney failure. I don't have enough points. Fatigue. Improved chances of death when other symptoms are also present. Yeah, let's go for fatigue. And then either vomiting or diarrhea. I've got six. I can buy vomiting. Let's go for it. We've got the whole tier one. Okay. So governments are closing their borders, but it's already too late. We've touched every part of the world, so no concerns there. Um, they're exterminating rodents, but we're already waterborne and airborne. There hasn't been as many floods as there were in the beginning, so um, it's not helping us. Like, the nature isn't helping us necessarily. Schools are closing. Uh, public institutions are closing. So they're really working on it, but it doesn't seem like uh, they have any chance, honestly. It, we kind of have a grasp of the whole of this world in our diseased hands. Series of hurricanes hit New Zealand. Okay, so that might help for New Zealand. The question is, do we have any deaths yet? No deaths. So we're doing great on the infected. Um, 
the populations are all infected. So let's just start killing people. Um, let's start selling some things. Uh, spread disease, sell, coughing. Oh. Oh, it costs money to sell. This is pretty unfortunate because uh, I need to kill people. So, how am I gonna do that if I if I can't if I can't evolve? Okay. So we're gonna patiently watch as the whole of the world gets infected, but we kill zero people. Um, doing a very good job at being a disease that's scary, but not at being a disease that's worth noting. Um, by the way, the flu is still pretty intense this season. So while you may be scared about the coronavirus, uh, the flu is definitely something that is killing a lot of people so just be aware of that be cognizant take care of yourself um, there's many things that seem scary but in reality the real scary things are just just around the corner watching already in your backyard you know okay we have whole countries that literally do not have a single healthy person left can I please evolve so that I can start wiping out these masses uh, before before the vaccines come? Yeah, yeah. Every single, every single country, all infected, all infected, all infected, all infected. I put so minimal work. It's just because I started in Madagascar, and that was such a smooth move. But, oh man, can, can I please start killing people? Hopefully this doesn't go out and <laughs> into the public as something that, uh, that, you know, Demoblaz telling is like really excited about killing people and wiping out civilization. Uh, it's only a one-time case, you know. Okay, kidney failure seems really good. I don't even have half the points. Impedes movement. Health complications. Let's go. Health complications. Um, okay. We're just hopeful at this point. Waiting. At this point, the earthquakes and drought are probably doing a better job than I am of killing people. Drought's coming to an end. Flooding in Cuba. Drought in Argentina. So, if everyone in the world is infected with a virus, does that mean that that becomes the new norm? Like, is that like just a part of our body ecosystem like you know how we're used to having like um stomach ecosystems where we have our own bacteria culture in our stomachs if everyone in the world is infected with a virus does that mean everyone has that as just part of their like bacteria culture for their for their uh own health because at this point, like, I haven't killed anyone. <laughs> so it's not like I'm, I'm not helping anyone, but kind of not hurting anyone that much. Oh, vaccine status. Uh, oh, luckily, all the hospitals freaked out and closed, so there's no vaccine status. Even though... No one is dying. <laughs> Interesting how that works. Um, I, I'm trying to p imagine what the world is like right now. And I guess people are just stuck at home because they're too sick to go out. Yet somehow they're not so sick that they're dying. Like people have fevers. People have 
people are coughing, people are fatigued, they're vomiting. You'd think at least one person in the whole of the world would die of dehydration at this point, but nope. Honestly, I'm a little impressed with the human condition at this point. If they're able to keep going this long with no vaccine in the future, everyone is infected, but they're holding out. Good, good on, good on us. I have high hopes for our own future as we all get scared by um, random infections and things that could come across and slowly kill us, silently and dead, much more deadly than this one. Maybe, maybe it had everything to do with the name, as opposed to Pilsner virus. I should have called it something a little bit more scary. Death virus, the the choke, chuck and choke, where you you vomit and then you die on your vomit. Uh, I'm really uncertain what to do now. I feel like I've I may have focused a little too much on the infectivity because that went so fast. Um, Maybe diarrhea will help. Okay, I'm just going to wait for the hemorrhaging. And then we're just going to see if we can bleed out everyone. Because, I don't know, it seems like the best course of action at this point. Um, Luckily, the drought in the Middle East is finally coming to an end. Storms over Greenland are also beginning to break up. And world weather today, climate change is causing some intense events in the world, but for some reason, it is doing no worse than this virus that has infected literally every single human on Earth. I wonder if this virus infects like animals also. If we're rodents and uh, insect if we if we spread by rodents and insects, I guess I guess maybe we're also infecting animals. Makes you wonder if some people are getting this virus just from like eating rodents or insects. Also, I feel like there has to be children being born. Oh, we started killing people. It's happened. Unconfirmed reports of death are coming in from West Europe. It's happened. We, we've made it. We're, we're a proper virus now. Oh, look at those deaths. Oh, beautiful. Okay, still nothing in Africa. Resilient people in Africa. Madagascar, Europe, and Australia. And we can start hemorrhaging. Time to bleed them all out. Here we go. Yes, yes, look at all those deaths piling up. Whew! <laughs> it went from like no deaths to like yes deaths. <laughs> we're, we're, we're great. Okay, so at this rate, I, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to have the whole world cleared out. Um, luckily for all of y'all, this game is part of a series, if you didn't notice by the two on the end. So you can totally play Pandemic 1, or I think there is another Pandemic game uh, created by Dark Realm Studios, along with a few other games that they have in their catalog. And uh, this game here, Pandemic 2, you don't have to play it like I did. Uh, you can, rather than being the Pilsner virus, you can go for the low and slow approach and pick one of the other uh, different infectable diseases to slowly kill off all of the world with. Uh, Madagascar in particular in this game is very hard to get. So I was very lucky starting in Madagascar. But should you play, I'm sure you'll be very unlucky and have the trouble of Madagascar closing its port way too freaking early and you're being stuck trying to kill everyone 
Yet somehow, Madagascar is still alive at the very end. At this point, you just wish that rats would swim. But, luckily for me, <laughs> I've already killed everyone. Uh, we're just waiting for... Ev or I've infected everyone, we're just waiting for them all to die. Okay. I'm... Not sure how long this is going to take. I'm already at three times speed. We have a guarantee of no vaccination to occur. Also, there's only 24 hospitals in the whole of the world. So this obviously cannot be an accurate representation of what a virus may do. But... You could try to use it as an indicator once you know that uh, people start hemorrhaging. <laughs> you can know that maybe, maybe the coronavirus is like the Pilsner virus. And that's when the deaths are really going to hop. Okay, what's the next thing that I'm looking for? Maybe it's kidney failure. I can also go for diarrhea since nothing nothing kills better than dehydration. Uh, water water is very important. Stay hydrated. My commentary is getting painfully drawn out as this playthrough has extended way past my expectations. Wait, there's a boat. Who still has their port open? What are you doing? You're stuck. Wait, did all the ports close before this boat made it home? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so, at the end of the day, maybe this boat has a survivor. Everyone's gonna die, but one boat survives. <laughs> What an odd turn of events. Um, you think that when all the ports close in the world, they at least take the boats in. Because this boat literally can't just be like boating between countries for days. It has to get fuel. Oh well, I told you it wasn't a completely accurate simulation, so. But yeah, um... Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. If you have someone who is uh, related to you, near to you, dear to you, and is sick, I hope they're getting better um, or on the upside of the health. Because, yeah, um, being sick sucks. I'm sure dying, uh, I don't know personally, but I'm sure it also sucks too. And so, yeah, at least if, if a virus like this comes around and infects everyone like this one did, and then slowly, after a very long time of being infected, there's a sudden rate of hemorrhaging that occurs. I don't know, at least, at least everyone dies all around the same time, you know? Don't have to sit there waiting it out wondering when your time is up though i guess i haven't done a particularly good job of that uh i seem to be taking a really long time maybe maybe my metaphor wasn't accurate towards the simulation that i've created in this case you're slowly watching everyone hemorrhage around you and wondering oh golly Am I the next one that's going to come just blood shooting out of all of my pores? Is that going to be me? And you won't know. You just won't know. Maybe you're stuck on a boat, circling between closed ports and closed ports, staring into infected people's eyes, as you're the only one who's still clean somehow, even though the virus is waterboard. Okay, kidney failure. Let's go. Let's 
Okay, my average deaths a day is still good. Is there any country that is completely perished yet? We're past halfway. We're definitely past halfway on a lot of these. New Zealand. Nope. Two thirds. Two thirds. Doing a great job. Just still not quite there. There are achievements if you play this on congregate. Um, I think one of them is for killing off the world in a, a certain amount of time. I do not think I succeeded in that endeavor this time. But hey, at least a guaranteed kill is better than no kill at all. Wow. I really didn't expect this to take so long. We've already hit 2009. It's crazy how time flies. It is crazy how time flies. I used to play this game with a bunch of friends. Um, I think it like summer camp. I don't know how we ever had enough time to just sit here and watch a map of the world slowly go from green to red. But definitely, definitely did that. And then went home, played it some more on my own, ranted about Madagascar the whole time. Really, really classic, really classic way to spend, spend your free time. Let's get some of that diarrhea. Maybe the dehydration will kill some more people a little bit faster. They've started giving bottled water out, but I don't know if the people working the bottled water plants are infected and it's a waterborne illness. I feel like it's not a lasting uh, solution. definitely run out of things to say i gotta get better at the whole commentary thing um luckily i don't have to talk and click at the same time i can focus on just scrounging whatever mental state i have left to spew out things from my vocal cords but yeah i i definitely don't have anything else to say at this point so if you're still watching congrats um please like comment and subscribe if you're you've been enjoying this if you haven't uh don't don't do any of that uh or actually maybe comment tell me how much you dislike this video because i think it still helps my metrics but don't dislike the video because that will hurt my metrics nonetheless the fact that you watch this i think is the thing that matters the most to my metrics so please continue watching just with how much you hate me, I guess. Um, I really appreciate it. Also, if you're uh, subscribing, I'd really appreciate it if you'd ring that bell since YouTube's algorithms decide to notify you or show you videos that you're subscribed to only if it thinks you're really interested in them. And since this is only my fourth week of doing this series, uh, I don't exactly have a lot of content for YouTube to work off of. So, yeah, please, please hit that bell button to ensure YouTube notifies you. Okay, has the world died yet for me? Um, we're reaching the same rate of infection as we are of death, which is good. Not quite dead yet. A little bit slower. Australia. Australia's making me proud. And infected, healthy, alive. Madagascar. Madagascar is very close. Middle East. Argentina. Peru. Brazil. Q. 
Cuba is getting real close. Very exciting. Ooh, Greenland. Okay, let's count it down, Greenland. 50 people left. Come on, it's like it's like a zombie infection. 30 people left. They're already infected, though. You're just people huddled in their homes, slowly bleeding out. Come on, 10 left. Hospitals are all closed. There's nowhere to go. Okay. 12. Don't hang on me. 10. 9. 8. 7, 6, 5. 4. Come on. Greenland, make me proud. And 2. 1. No signs of life in Greenland. We have wiped out one country. Well, we've got our... The whole of the other ones. New Zealand. Australia. Still not quite low enough yet. Wow, Japan's still really high. China just has too much population. It was great for the infection, terrible for the dying part. North Africa... It got into the party a little bit late, so I kind of get it. Madagascar, it's getting there, but still going a little slow. Argentina competing with Madagascar. Which one wants to make me prouder? US also has a lot of people. Cuba! Cuba is the next countdown. I can tell, Cuba's the next countdown. Okay, we have 20 evolution points. Let's buy the next round. Blindness. Okay, heart failure, 24. Uh, significantly acute inflammation of the brain. Encephalitis. Brain damage occurs as the brain pushes against the skull and eventually results in death. Okay, so uh, 21 points. Hypotonia results in extremely low muscle tone and muscle strength. Increases the visibility of infected, but also increases the chance of death. It's four points. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for the muscle one. If you ain't swall, you're dying. And then, hopefully, I can just knock out that 20 and have people's brains swell as they bleed out and their muscles atrophy and then we have i don't know just a bunch of pile of really thin pools of blood with big brains yeah the ideal 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 body type big brain low muscled okay cuba back to cuba 49, 48, 40, 30, it's, it's just plummeting, it's great, it's almost at 10 a second, 20, come on, you stopped, go faster, 22, 21, and Cuba, 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 okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, zero. Cuba. Cuba has been wiped out. New Zealand also wiped out. I missed that countdown, but we're. <laughs> it's very exciting. Good on you two. Congratulations. Greenland still won. Madagascar is coming here. Ten, nine, eight. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Madagascar. Madagascar. Fourth to the. Forts of the Prize, Indonesia. It's looking really close. Japan also just plummeted. Oh, Australia, Argentina. They they jumped the gun. I wasn't even paying attention. This is a little rough. Okay, Me Mexico. Oh, C Canada died before Mexico. Peru got wiped out. Well, here comes Mexico. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mexico, who is left? Brazil, 
Brazil has 20 people left. South Africa's out. America still has 100. Uh, West Europe, and that's Brazil. East Europe is nearly out. Oh man, Russia, Russia's out. Middle East, India, India might be, oh, China. China's, China's definitely the one that's lasting. Okay, Japan, East Europe, wowzers. What a splendid, what, did it, what an exciting conclusion this has become. China or North Africa? Which one's first? Obviously, North Africa. China's. U.S. is out. Okay. Well, once again, uh, as the world burns, I plug my channel. Uh, I'm Demovla. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and yeah, stay safe. Try not to get killed by whatever crazy infections are going out. Wash your hands, don't touch your mouth. I think I think that's all the health things we got. There's Africa and China's last. Oh, India, India burns out. I forgot about India, but China's definitely the one holding out till the end. 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there it is. Humanity overcome. Mankind's numbers have declined. Your disease has managed to exterminate humans off the face of the earth. Take care. Hope life treats us well. Toodles.